Well, hello, welcome back everybody. Russ here with more Hollow Knight. I have smacked that window with everything. I looked around for switches. I could not remember how to get open to that stag station. But then I did remember. I'm pretty sure that that stag station connects to two rooms, this one and another one to the left. To get into it, you have to go around and enter from the left. And that has a switch to open that window, door, whatever. So, we gotta go through the section of Queen's Garden. We have not, if we want to fast travel here. Da! Everything is immediately going badly. These unpredictable things. Maybe I'll just leave that one alone. I hate you. With great intensity. Oh, God, how did I... My brain just did not register that one. Is this a statue, or... Okay, I think it's just a statue. Jesus Christ, I hate these things. These suck, they suck. Oh, and Venus flytraps, too. Mix. This place is bad. Okay. Oh, you motherfucker. I actually got hit by one of those. That's embarrassing. Haha! I am going to scream. I saw it, and I'm just like, that looks fun to jump into. You dicks! Crab friend. And, hmm, that sure looks interesting. But, ain't getting in there from here. What am I doing? There's no, nothing else here. Okay, and forward. Swinging. So anyways, I started swinging. Fuck! That's the way forward. What's to the left? Is that another grub friend? Oh, it's just a money item, isn't it? Ooh! I <laughs> got he ducks to grab shit. I didn't notice that one. Okay. And then I think like one or two more rooms and we're at the station. little bastard's grave. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that right now. First things first, station, save point. Here we are. Oh, thank you. Open. Is this the last station? Yeah, it is. I found it, the stag nest where I was born and raised. I've yet to go there again. My duty binds me to travel only where I am called. But if you wish to see it yourself, I could take you there. None may remain to welcome us, 
but the nest is still a sight to behold. Give me the word, and we will go there at once. <sighs> Before you rang the bell, I'd almost forgotten the station existed. It was not often used by the common bugs, being a well-guarded retreat for our late queen. Even as overgrown as they've become, these gardens are still beautiful after all this time. I'm sure the queen would be happy to know that. Anyways, yep, once you open up all the other stations, the stag nest becomes available. So onward we go. Being back in my old home, I feel the weight of my long life bearing down on me. I carry it proudly, though. Wherever I travel, the memories of my family and my kind come with me. So, the long abandoned stag nest. So many dead stag beetles. Just from old age, I believe. Anyways, boop! Magic upgrade, or at least a part way. I believe for three upgrades, that's it, huh? So, one more of those to get. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think nine is the maximum for health, so. Yeah, only one more magic piece and two more math shards. And I know where one of those math shards is, and oh my god. Fuck that. An empty eggshell. Interesting. That doesn't look that old, does it? What do you think of my old home, little one? It was full of life once, stags coming and going, swapping stories of the places they'd been and the passengers they'd met. For a long time now, I've considered myself the only one remaining, the last stag. But being in the nest again, there's something in the air, a smell or a warmth, or a presence perhaps. Could it be? Other stags have made their way out into the wider world. Yes, I will hold on to that hope, my kin still alive still out there, journeying beyond these lands. But for me, I could never abandon the stagways. Not as long as passengers still need them. I can tell you still have important work to do. I will be your companion as long as my old body still serves. Let us enjoy the old stagways of this kingdom together a little longer. <gasps> True bro, man. I notice he's no longer the last stag, but just the old stag. Anyways, oh, let's get the friggin' map to the gardens already. I'm tired of flying blind. Oh, I hate that you can't, like, cycle off once. Okay, I don't have all the flames yet. That's right, there's one at Kingdom's Edge I didn't grab. Oh, Cornifus here. Oh yeah, because that's every map. Bafanada. A map of the Queen's Garden, a royal sanctuary close to Greenpath. Cornifus sometimes calls me his queen. Usually only when I'm angry, though. Those trams sound like awfully advanced machines. Those ancient bugs must have been a clever lot. These pens should be perfect for recording a tram stop's location. Even though the tram rooms are so uniquely shaped on the map, you really don't want that pen. <sighs> After more supplies? You've already bought so much. Unfortunately for now, you've cleaned us of anything worth selling. Cornifer will no doubt be pleased, though I do wonder what he plans to spend all that geo on. Why does he attack when talking to these characters? Cornifer's home at last, but look at him, he's exhausted. He always does this, furiously charts a place, then collapses once he's done. He'll be sleeping for some time, I imagine, so even with him home, I'm still lost for company. Ah, but I do love the bug, even his faults. Seeing his passion for maps, it's something of an inspiration. Corny keeps asking me to join him in his adventures, and I've always declined. Maybe next time I should accept the offer. 
Pluma, Desiree? Have you seen them? The travelers who set up camp outside of town. I was interested at first. Not a lot's been happening lately, but they have a sinister feeling to them. You can feel it, right? I've told Cornifer he's not to speak to them. His heart and his mind are a little too open sometimes. Oh, I'm sorry, are you girl. enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times, my husband makes Hallowness seem a wonder, but sometimes it seems a ghastly, dangerous place. Yeah, that's still the same. I think I've talked to Elderbug about the Grim Troop already, huh? Yeah. And Sly has dialogue about them too, doesn't he? I think I may have already talked about that one. Oh, come on, yeah. Oh, not. I've been hearing about the strangers that have come to town. They're strange indeed from what's been told. What interest does this tired little place hold for them? I'm thinking you may know the answer to that. None of my business, of course, but I'd be wary of their deals and promises. Keep your nail half drawn if you understand me. Oh, come on, yeah. How are your travels, Nail Master? As time goes by, I'm sure you'll only grow stronger. If you see your fellow Nail Masters again, tell them I carry them in my thoughts always, and they should come and buy something from their old teacher as a mark of respect. Hey, go, boss. Yep, and that's it for Sly. There's nothing more from him for the rest of the game. Okay, back to the garden, let's finish it off. Let's take out the bosses there. Charge. Fast slash. Hmm. Sharp shadow might be a good idea. We dash fast. Oh god, too fast. I need to get used to the extra speed distance. The so sharp shadow can backfire on you like that. There are some specific areas I would highly recommend not having that on. Okay, stations. Oh, right, there's the grave right next to the station. Well, since I already climbed up here, because I'll have to head back to the station down to, you know, leave this place. You know what? Maybe this was one of the spots that I shouldn't be using Sharp Shadow! <laughs> Fuck! This has come back to bite me in the ass fast! Sharp Shadow, maybe not recommended for going through here. Oh well, let's live with my choices. Blech. I've made my mistakes. Place up. Time for pain. And there she is. Let's rock and roll, girl. Lord. 
By the way, this guy does a shit ton of damage if he hits you. And there's that move I told you about. He does not give you any chance to heal. Oh shit! Nice! Fuck him up. Oh yeah, that's right. That's just how the fight ends if she comes to help you. So, yep, she's dead now. You can't keep her alive if, you know, you don't meet her, talk to her, do all of her other dialogue before coming here. So if you do this area boss fight early, Cloth does survive. And she hangs out in Dirtmouth for a bit, but then she eventually leaves and just kind of disappears from the game anyways. Protect. Yeah, single white knight with a lot of mantis corpses. Man, they really wanted who, whatever was in here. Oh, one arrives. Far it walks to find me. Did it seek my aid? Or did the path carry it by chance to so pertinent a place? It is true. True that you were awaited. No, perhaps that is inaccurate. True one like you was awaited. I have a gift, held long for one of your kind. Half of a whole. When united, great power is granted. And on the path ahead, great power it will need. I'm pretty sure this is, like, the queen of Hallow Nest. The White Fragment. It faced a gender child. She's a fierce foe, strong in mind and body, striking reflection of her mother, though the two were permitted little time together. I never begrudged the worm's dalliance as bargain. In fact, I feel some affection for the creature birthed. If your paths were ever to align, I imagine you might gain yourself a powerful ally. And yeah, that, she's talking about Hornet. Within my roots, the weakening of the vessel I plainly feel. Only two obvious outcomes there are from such a thing. The first is inevitable on current course, regression. All minds relinquish to that pernicious plague. The second I find preferable, and would seek your aid in its occurrence. In its occurrence, replacement. I implore you, usurped the vessel. Its supposed strength was ill-judged. It was tarnished by an idea instilled. But you, you are free of such blemishes. You could contain that thing inside. Merma. I'll offer fair warning. The vessel may itself be weak, but it is much empowered by that force within. To claim its role requires strength of some magnitude. Prepare yourself well before attempting the task. Prepare well, but don't dally. Were the vessel to break prematurely, that plague would unleash with rage and power built of ages chained. So it can access a mind, then the seals shall break before its blade. I think that's it from her. I think she gets new dialogue if you come back after finding the other half of that white fragment, but... It's a bit of a walk, just for some minor extra lore. So we won't be doing that. But that's the main thing to come to Queen's Garden for. Now, where could that second piece be? Well now, that was something. A true battle of mighty warriors, so intense, so climactic. It's really everything I could have ever hoped for. Thank you for all your help, my friend. For a tiny bug, you set a valiant example. We'll meet again, I'm sure of it. 
be on my way soon. Nola is waiting, and I'm done down here, just savoring the moment a little longer. Ugh. Let's put her to rest. I don't know if doing that to Ghost is like putting them to rest, or if it's just like erasing them and absorbing them. I don't know. And it doesn't really matter in the end. Okay, that's the road back up. But is there something I'm missing? Because isn't this the place where... Oh, uh, and here's a new fragment. Fragment of a white charm cannot be equipped in its current state. Okay, so that is the end of this area. That's where it connects. Because I'm like, I'm remembering, isn't this where an important item is? Did I not go into that room? Because there is something else important here that I definitely want to get. Yeah, no, I do not have it. Now that's a dick move. Yeah, Sharp Shadow might have not been a good idea here. Blech. Oh, still empty. Refilling my soul. You little bastards. Together, stranger? Shall we play together? Marmu is annoying. Ow. Very annoying. seems to just be random. <sighs> oh. oh, stranger, you're strong. Much stronger than me. I've been waiting a long time, stranger. I've been fighting a long time, stranger. I'm very, very tired. The queen will be here soon, and I just need to sleep a little. Wake me when the queen arrives, stranger. Perhaps the queen will teach us to both the fly, stranger. That would be fun. Wouldn't it? Good night, you little caterpillar shit. Protector of root and leaf, we honor you. Okay. And that's enough for my next upgrade for... <laughs> yeah, that's right. my next thing from, um, Seer, correct? But hold on. No, I don't want to leave yet. Maybe... Would that be faster? No, it'd be faster to go through here. I, I guess I just never went that way. Well, damn it. Ah! Dead. 
Sir, I am just trying to walk down the road. You here being an asshole. Sucks. Okay. This rum sucks. This rum sucks. This rum rolls. Oh wait, this rum might suck too. Okay, gotta hook him right. here this whole time. I must have, like, just stepped in this room to add it to my map for when I did eventually get the map. Oh, god, there's one of these trees here. Alright. Uh, oh, you fault in serious. for you. And like I said, my first playthrough, I just kind of missed Dung Eater and Yzma's Tear, so I couldn't get through here. Which is why I could never find the entrance to another place. The Love King. Giggity! Too long spent together, we become as one. Yeah, there's like crap oozing from his eye sockets. That's unpleasant. So, what could the Love King be for? Hmm, didn't we find a place that had something to do mentioning with love? Oh, this is the mossy little place, huh? Yeah! That's why I had this on my map. Because this is the same room. Okay, with that done, that goes in the deep nest, so a big fucking nope. Although there is that spot down there that we... Hmm, we could just keep heading straight down and go to the deep nest trail. Which does connect the kingdom's edge. Which is where I want to go next. Alright, back into hell we go. Oi, right, go fuck yourself. Crawl, just seeing both things everywhere, and like I said, the spiders in the foreground and background, and just, just everything is terrible. The 
legitimately do not like it. It triggers like so much phobia. Middle finger, yeah. Devs are kind of dicks. Yeah. These devs are really dicks. That's the fucking exit. Get me out. Oh, sweet sanctuary. Alright. And there's also a room up we haven't been into. So there's a little bit more of deep nest left to explore. What's up here? Oh, isn't this a mask fragment? Which just leaves that last one that I'm not sure I'm gonna go for. Because holy shit, fuck that. second I just entered this room, it was like, oh, it's coming back. Like, work that shovel knife, baby. Hell yeah. Oh no, it's the last soul upgrade. All right, our magic is now maxed out. Bam. Okay, so there's the bullshit mask fragment from the flower quest. I do not remember where the other one is. Is it in the hive? Like I said, there's an area I haven't been into yet. This is where you get Sharp Shadow. I need to, yeah, jump up here. Here we go. And hey, we finally get to ride the tram. The train for Station Square will be departing soon. Smash that button! Like it's a motherfucking like button. Hmm? Please. And this brings me to Ancient Basin, which actually... Nah, nah I'll do that later. Focus on the bigger task at hand. Which is my head itches. Alright, yeah, back at Kingdom's Edge. Nothing down here. So here's a little secret area of Kingdom's Edge that can only be reached through the trams. Go up and it takes you to the bottom left of that big vertical, like, main shaft area of Kingdom's Edge. But the real secret is right here.
Man, think I was like, wow, I noticed that on my first playthrough. Oh well. It's just funny, some of the things you notice compared to what you don't. Welcome to the hive. This little pseudo dungeon area of Kingdom's Edge is, uh, well, it's not friendly. The other mask fragment is in here, I remember. Okay, so the one from the Grey Mourner and, yeah, there's one holed up in here behind, like, a breakable wall or something. It's all coming back to you. He says, not taking any damage. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. I want that money. Give me that money. I think this way was a bench. But, as you've no doubt already figured, we're pretty much just going to be fighting exclusively bees in here. Which, I mean, makes sense. Yep. I want that bench. Ah. Alrighty. This is perfect. There's actually a lot of stuff to do now in Kingdom's Edge. Some of which I've been putting off, and a lot, a well, one thing of which I've just been putting off. For a good reason, which will be explained and makes sense when we get to it. You fuck. And then other stuff, which I just couldn't do, because I needed Tram Pass to get into here. I needed Shadow Dash to get into another area. I needed the damn Love Key. Well, that technically counts as City of Tears, doesn't it? The Tower of Love. Ugh. Why do they, like, turn it inside out into nightmares? Bees should be fat, fluffy friends. Like these little guys. I wish they weren't hostile. Like if they just floated in place and didn't come after you, I would leave them alone. Unless I needed to refill my soul. Because otherwise, there's no point to hitting them. They don't drop money. I guess kill enough of them to fill out the journal entry. And got it. Hard and try, but light familiar. Whatever. I think you just see them all buzzing about in the background. I know I'm technically trespassing, but I ain't gotta be dicks about it. All oh, right, a unit. Duh. Right, I've got gathering swarm. I don't need to actually pick stuff up manually. I think there's other exits. I could probably just wait until I'm leaving to do this, but oh well. Just go ahead and open up that exit. And right back in. Boop, boop, boop. Bap. Come on. Bap. Ah, there we go. Bap. Beep. Bop it. Boop. Beauty, bobbity, bitch. Ow. Thought that would kill. I forget. They just charge instantly. They don't have the little wind-up that the smaller ones do. Yeah, we got small bee. Medium bees. And big bees. There's a medium. You fuck right off, sir. Or ma'am. 
I don't know. Don't care. Suck. Ow. You bitch. through here that there's another entrance into the hive. But, we'll deal with that later. Okay, I think this is the room. It's a fat-ass bee. I need to make sure they stay alive. Not to get too trigger-happy and kill them too soon. here. Yes, there is. Mm, it's a pretty tough jump. Just keep on swinging. Yeah, try to get it all the way at the top. There we go. The hive is probably a, a pretty memorable place. It's, plus, it's not that big. So, I remember a lot of its little secrets. I also remember how to fucking suck, apparently. Yeah, I gotta get a... Are you serious? Yeah, I gotta lure a fat bitch over here. There you are. Okay, there's two of them. Woo! Oh, mama. Yeah, fuck you. One to go. I'm not promising that I'm gonna get it. do this to reset them so they're not on my ass. Okay, open up that path. Woo! Okay, and I think this is the end of the place. Oh. My brain didn't register. I'm walking into a wall. I thought that was a background. Yep, there's the queen. Alright. Let's rock and roll. Is he appear in the middle or the edge? Oh, right. You get attacked by these little fucks first. The Hive Knight. And he's invincible when he's yelling. I don't know, for some reason I always have trouble remembering this guy. Like, I remember he exists, obviously, but... I don't know, his moves just never stick in my head, and he always kind of beats my ass. He's... he's a pretty tough dude. Ah, uh, he only gives you time for, like, two. When you stun him. Ow! Fuck! You dick!
Yeah, he's pretty tough. So, didn't I hear that this place got changed post-release? Was it that there wasn't a boss here that you just went through and got the item at the end? I think something like that. I could also be misremembering or just completely making that up. I'm not sure. But I feel like I remember hearing something like that. That this, that the Hive didn't have a boss fight when the game released. And he got added in later. And it's like, alright, now you got to work for that Hive blood. Which is a pretty damn good charm. And is almost necessary for a secret area of the game. My knight, at last you are freed. Small thing, I know you're kind. If you attempt to resolve your past, then know I am not the queen you seek. Yeah, I know, I already met her. It is the pale beings that bear blame for your nature. Though this hive exists within Hathonest, we play no part in its attempt at perpetuation. To rail against nature is folly. All things must accept an end. She's like, oh yeah, Hollow Knight's royalty was fucking stupid. Couldn't accept the inevitable. I mean, she's kind of right. Spoiler for which ending we're going for. <laughs> Time to get the fuck out of here. Boop. Boop. Right. I need to set a bench to fill in the damn map. And this is is this the exit or the bench? This is the exit. And I believe this next to the room above the other one, so I don't need to do any backtracking to finish the map. Two, three. Okay, three hits on them now. Ugh. Okay, just a refill statue. Geo! entrance you can see. Ah, there it is. And here we are. Must save grub friend. Actually, you bees are holding a grub friend captive. You guys suck. Fuck you guys. Friend rescued. God, they respawn immediately. Oh, I knew it. Alright, then, yep. Main section of Kingdom's Edge. You fuck! Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where did that up path go? Because I don't remember.
Oh, is it connected to the sewers? Okay, there is another way you can reach the hive without the tram. Wow, I just completely fucking forgot this segment, I guess. Okay, that just loops around. Freedom! Okay, no, never mind. It's not another entrance. You have to open it from this side. I'm near the spot that connects to that one crazy lady's house, right? Yeah. Okay, then this will be my way out. In times past, I wouldn't have spoken with your like, but now the rest of my cast are wonderfully distantly deceased. If I didn't welcome you, I'd never have anyone to share my happiness with. Isn't life just wonderful? Sure thing, crazy lady. Nope. I have made a mistake. Ow. Oh, right. Elevator. And now we play the waiting game. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> oh, it's like a bitch now it's in my head. The pleasure house. Hey, you fucking thieving bitch. So, you owe me 4,600 Geo. Oh, uh, hello again, dear. You fancy running into you here. Is it your Geo you're after? Well, you see, it's, uh, it's a sad thing, but it's gone. All spent. The cost of running a bank could be high, so I had to charge a somewhat large service fee to your account. Perfectly legitimate, of course, just part of the whole banking deal. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for visiting me, and run along now, won't you? If you allow me some privacy, I'll be done here soon. Then you can have the spa to yourself. No hard feelings, okay? And it's gone. Bitch. Alright, we're kicking her ass. We're taking it back by force. We will literally beat our money back out of her. Juggle that hoe. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. Okay, you can't use magic on her. You can only use your sword. Yes, you literally just smack her until you get all your cash back. Which is pretty entertaining. So thankfully, you don't lose your shit forever. Just 
You just have to find out where she ran off to, and the answer is here. Ah, and you get even more back than you gave her, that's right. I'm taking it out of your hide, with interest! Because it was 4,600 that she took from you, right? Oh yes, combo! Ah! Wait, no, get her back in there! No, get off the bench! Alright, she's empty. I can't even talk to her anymore. And goodbye. Ho. Hey, I have enough for a certain something now. <laughs> oh, I've got to invest in that. Well, that connects directly to the Coliseum of Fools, which I do want to do now. But mm, we only have a couple minutes left. You know what? I'm going to end this episode here. But, when next we continue, well, I'll be doing, actually, not Coliseum Pulses yet. Right, right, I want to make a trip back to town for a little something else first. And there's still a little bit, decent chunkage of game left. So let's see, if I'm running down here, that will only take like a minute or two. It's not like I have any qualms about going over an hour. I just like to keep things about an average there. How? Bitch! Okay, heal. This is probably completely unnecessary, but fuck it. Because this is honestly a piss easy fight. But, you know, we're hitting that hour mark. Let's just make it go quick. This will not take long at all. Because, like I said, it's piss easy for being so hidden and so late in the game. The Tower of Love. So, with that fancy key, we can finally get in this door that drove me insane my first playthrough. <laughs> Man, it sounds like someone's having a good time in here. Oh, the same type of jars that the grubs are kept in. Interesting. That's a lot of fucking jars. The Collector. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this thing is, but we're killing it. And I mean, it's kind of a dick. It was mean to grub friends. This is the fucker responsible for taking them. Man, I've already got it dropping three jars. Yeah. Like I said, piss easy, out. You just want to get on the jars as soon as they drop and to kill the ads. Don't give them time to gang up on you. And, bam, boss dead. Whatever the hell that thing is. 
And we heard its creepy laughter from downstairs, and we heard grub friends as well. And there's quite a few of them in here. You are free, little ones! And another prize. The Collector's Map. You can now see where grubs are on your map. Oh shit, I'm missing one in that... There is a building I forgot to enter. There's one right there on the Royal Waterways. So yeah, a very handy tool for cleaning up things you've missed. And that is going to do it for this episode of Hollow Knight. Next time, I believe we shall be doing the Colosseum of Fools. But until then, you all have a great night, everybody, and take care of yourselves. Bye bye